video we're going to learn how to calculate slope from points. So a quick review from last time, slope describes the steepness of a line. So the larger the absolute value of the slope, the steeper the line is. Slope is written as a fraction. It's the change in y's over the change in x's, and we right, last time wrote that as delta y over delta x, or rise over run. Okay. And now we're going to get a formula that we can use when we have points. So slope is m is equal to y2 minus y1, so that gives you a change in y's, over x2 minus x1. The smaller numbers in the formula above show the first point, so this is the first point, x and y, and the second point, x and y. Notice that the smaller numbers are in the same position in the numerator and the denominator. So here we have both twos, here we have both ones, so they're in the same position. Order doesn't matter as long as it stays consistent. So you can pick whichever point you want to represent y2 and x2, and whichever point you want to represent y1 and x1 as long as you stay consistent. So here are the steps. Number one, we substitute the values into the slope formula. Two, we simplify the formula. You have to simplify the numerator and the denominator separately. Then you have to simplify the fraction, and it's always a good idea to box your answer. So let's take a look at the examples. So I have two points here, and typically I make the first point x1, y1, and the second point x2, y2. But it does not matter as long as you're consistent. So I'm using that formula, y2 minus y1, so y2 is negative 2, minus y1, so minus a negative 2, over x2, which is 9, minus x1, which is 2. So again, using that formula, just plugging in. All right, so negative 2 minus negative 2 is 0. This is, this is negative 2 plus 2, which would give me 0. And 9 minus 2 gives me 7. Anything over, our 0 over anything is 0, so the slope of this line is 0. And if you remember from our pictures, a line with a zero slope, this would be a horizontal line. So if I were to think about that picture, that line is relatively flat. So that's my slope. All right, next example, same deal. So I'm going to use this point as x1 and y1, and then x2 and y2. So I'm plugging in y2, which is 5, minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 4, minus y1 is minus a negative 2. So 5 minus 3 gives me 2, over 4 minus a negative 2 becomes 4 plus 2, which is 6. And if I simplify that, it's going to be 1 third. So this particular line, if I were to plot those two points, it would have a positive slope. So it would look something like that going upwards. <coughs> Excuse me again. All right, next example, same deal. We use x1 and y1, and then x2 and y2. So y2 is negative 3 minus y1 is 0 over x2 is 5, and y2 is also 5. So negative 3 minus 0 gives me negative 3, and 5 minus 5 gives me 0. Remember, division by 0 is undefined. So the slope of this line would be undefined. And an undefined line is a vertical line, or a line with an undefined slope is vertical. Okay, I forgot to box my answer over here. All right, last example for slope from points. Again, I'm labeling x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 is negative 4 minus y1 is negative 3 over x2 is negative 8 minus x1 is negative 5. So negative 4 minus negative 3 is negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1, over negative 8 minus a negative 5 is negative 8 plus 5, which is negative 3. Remember that a negative divided by a negative is the same as a positive, so this is going to be 1 third, which again means I have a positive slope, so I'm looking at another uphill line.